matter what, it just like gets in my my bones. And plus, you know, I turn like the heat off in my house when I do these glasses. So it goes like shh, 62, 61. <laughs> We're gonna warm up, warm up with our shred it class. Oh, you're at home, Mickey. That's nice. Comes in handy for these days, right? <laughs> you don't wanna be driving in it. You don't wanna drive with everybody else in it, right? I know how it goes. I know how that goes. So we have a nice full class today. I got some interesting things to do. Fun stuff, fun stuff. And all from your home. <laughs> not, not out, not out and about. And this weekend is gonna be even um, a little more interesting. I think, was it Sunday? I think it's supposed to be Sunday or something. Um, the temperatures drop. Hey Susie, how are you? Thank you for coming to this class. I know it's not the Zuma class, but it's always good when I see other people trying um, the other stuff, the different stuff. Uh, so that's great. And we're gonna keep ourselves moving, toning up, which I have to do more of. <laughs> Most of the time I'm lifting food to my mouth. <laughs> Not weights, so we gotta work on that. Um, or cat, but you know, my cats are big, so I consider that working out. It's like, I don't know, eight to 10 pounds right there. <laughs> I should make a whole, I should make a whole um, uh, workout with your cat's body weight <laughs> type of class <laughs> and record it. So half the time it's gonna be, it would be like, this is doable and realistic. And then the other half would be like, is this a joke? <laughs> but it could be fun. <laughs> Ashley, yay! How are you? And Kitty's ready, Susie. Let me see. Let me tilt this down. See her in the little kitty house? See her in that little kitty house there at the end? I've been putting that there. And she's been just going in there and chilling out. Maybe at one point I'll try and open kitty bed because you can see more of her, but it's very interesting, the workout kitty, what she puts up with. I know. I'm pretty. I'm pretty blessed. They're pretty good natured. Look at her. Look at her. Um, come this way. <laughs> she's she's gonna work out. I wish they'd come out when I'm on the floor. Sometimes they do. They do it more if I do yoga and stuff. And now she's chilling out, sleeping. All right. Let's see what time it is. Okay, we're gonna get going. All right. So welcome to Shred It. <laughs> And we have uh, the other one. That, uh, let's see. Oh. She's uh, she's on the recliner sleeping. <laughs> okay. So she might wake up. She was up like crazy earlier, all wired up. You know, when I first would teach Zumba, like in my earlier days, she'd zip around. Like that's how she was earlier. So she must have um, ran out of gas. So anyway, but we've got gas in our tanks. We're gonna do our shred class. Again, it's um, a three block class. Three, it's by basically three, three, threes. It's all threes. Uh, so we have our upper body exercise, our lower body exercise, and our core exercise. So that's our three. And then we repeat that three times with a fourth section, which is just a cardio burst section, which is no toning whatsoever. It's like, um, well, there's sometimes toning, but it's more of your cardio burst. And then each block of three is also three blocks, three, three, three. So just think of threes. And we have our timer. So you'll hear bing, 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 bing. It's mostly for me to keep you guys on track. You guys can't see it, so you just follow me how it goes. And what we'll do is, um, we usually end about, technically it's a 45 minute class, but I, I try to give you uh, plenty of time to understand what the hell is going on, especially virtually, so it drag out a little bit. Uh, so it'll probably be like maybe 50, 60, depending, okay? And then we're um, gonna have loud music for warm up, then it comes way down 
Um, it sounds loud to you, it sounds like way down for me. Uh, but so that you can hear me speak because I'm not microphone, okay? So if you're ready to begin, we want our mat and our weights, one to two sets. I would say one heavy for sure. Always um, go on the side of heavy because it's really easy just to, to max yourself out that way, then drop to the lighter weight. Uh, the only reason I say do heavy first instead of light first and then go to heavy is that we want to fatigue our muscles in order to build them. Uh, just straight fatigue out is, is more like a repetitive build. It really doesn't make your muscles pump up or uh, build themselves or create. So you want heavy to work with. And then when you get to the point where you're shaky and you just can't lift, then you go down. Then you'll take it down to your next um, weight or poundage that's like a level down from the one you've been working with. So try that first. You can always bounce between the two, okay? Um, and then we're gonna do our warm up. So go ahead and get in place. Make sure you got your man your weights. Let me turn this down so you can see better. Make sure it's not tilted. Okay. Let me turn this music up.
our toning section. Yay! Eat, sleep, nap, gym. Gym. Repeat, okay? So, we're starting our first block. Upper body exercise, a lower body exercise, and a core. The first pass is a little bit slower and less reps as I try to get you acclimated to what move we're doing. Then the subsequent repeat will be faster, okay? So go ahead and get yourself those two heavy weights. We're gonna start with our upper body. We have single, single, double, reverse fly. So we're gonna go right, left, two, one with our reverse flies, all right? So go ahead and grab them. Let me start my timer up here. I know, just what you want, timers. All right. So first up, single, single, double, reverse flies. We're gonna grab our heavy sets of weights. We're gonna be hip with apart. Soften your knees up, roll those shoulders down and back. Now what's gonna happen is we're gonna mini squat it down, let the hinge forward come forward, roll those shoulders down and back. So these weights are hitting here. And this mini squat, your stomach is tight. So what we're going to do is take it out for a reverse fly with our right, and then our left, and then double. Two, and one. So think about it. Roll those shoulders down and back for me. Right, left, two, one. So when you fly, you're going to keep a little bend to your elbow. It's like a bat's wing or a bird wing. Now fully extended, a little bit of a bend. And you're squeezing in between your shoulder blades. Think about focusing there. Almost like you want to pinch the racer back of your sports bra, okay? Keep going. Right, left, two, one. Give me one more step. Right, left, two, and one. Good job. Stay here. Slowly roll it up. Woo! Step your feet in closer. So now we're going to our lower body. What we're going to do is narrow knees together almost. Squats that are weighted. So you can have your hands here or take the weight up here. I leave them down here for this. So what you're going to do is real simple. We're just going to go down and up. So your legs are closer together. And as you come up, squeeze those butt cheeks, right? Let the weights just hit. What the weights are doing is giving you some weighted resistance, making it a little bit more challenging. But you want to keep your chest up and your chin up. So you shouldn't be hanging over like this. You should be nice and straight. All you're doing is squatting it down and straightening it up. Bend those knees, come down, straighten and squeeze back up. Whenever you do a squat, when you come on up, squeeze your butt cheeks together like you want to hold an envelope in between your cheeks. Give me one more. Good job. Woo! So that's your lower body. Now we're going to core. You're going to need one weight only. So put one weight down. We're going to go a little bit wide leg. You're going to take this weight. Now you have two options. You can do baseball back hold or end to end. It just depends what's more comfortable to you. Take your elbows in and grab your weight about chest level. So this is a halo twist. What you're going to do is rotate it around your head, twist it to the side, then switch, twist. Make sure you're twisting the body because that's where the core comes in. It's core to make it rotate around your head and core to get that twist in. Inhale as it rotates. As you twist. So you can't pivot your knee. I don't expect your knee to stay still. It's going to go with your body. But really make sure you get that twist in. And then next time we'll try the other hold and see how you like that one. Give me one more. Good job. Go ahead and grab the other weight. Step your feet in. Now we are back to our flies for our upper body. We're hip width apart, soften those knees, roll the shoulders down back. Hinge it forward, so this is loose in front of you. And we're gonna go right, left, two, one. Right, left, two, one. So each of our upper body, lower body, core, is a total of six. 
60 seconds for one minute. We need some of that without prep, but basically you're doing this move for an entire minute. So while it looks simple in the beginning, when you start putting that kind of time frame on it, where it drags out past 30 seconds, it gets tired. Give me your double and then we'll finish. Two, and one, good, hold here, hold up. Excellent, now step your knee together. So now we're even closer, we still have these weights. Our thighs are together, our tummy is tight. Now we're gonna squat it down and squeeze it up. Remember, squeeze the cheeks on the top, okay? Here we go. So it's down, squeeze the cheeks. Squeeze the cheeks. And I'm not talking me. <laughs> Here we go. Squeeze. And also because our legs are together, you can think about squeezing your thighs together too. So it's not just your butt cheeks, it's your thighs as well. Everything works together to get nice contraction. So think about like, you're just gonna fall onto your toilet seat, right? You wanna just sit down and straighten out. Keep it going.
to the floor, come back up, and shuffle in the opposite direction, right? You're ready to try this? Okay. Now go to that first. Come down and shuffle, 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 touch. Shuffle, 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 feet, touch. So it's like four, three, two, one, touch. Four, three, two, one, touch. Maybe when we get to our third pass, we'll double time it. 
back, you can sing along. Maybe not so much with the little kids. Keep going. Remember, you're zipping the jacket, so it's midline. 
bottom navel level. Pull up. Elbow is only about shoulder height. Get down. Pull up. Elbow is only about shoulder height. Let's go. Good job. Keep going. Right and left. Now I take it to tempo. You have the option of slowing it down. So let's say maybe this is you. So it's like a two count. That's totally okay. Listen to your body. Otherwise, you can get to tempo. One more. Together, lock it, elbows up, at the side, or nothing at all. Same position as if you have the weights, elbows up. All right? So we're ready. Soften our knees. Here we go. So it's four, three, two, one, straight and hold. Four, three, two, one, squeeze those butt cheeks together.
Like that needs sleep. The rest is done. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Ashley. Hey, Stacy, I'm glad you can make it. Um, Maria, I'm so glad you guys can make it out for the shredded class. I know it's not easy to sometimes come back to toning, but um, we all need it. We all need it, right? Gotta feel invigorated. So thank you guys so much for joining me on our snow day night. We're getting it hot and heavy with weights. And now it's again for our eat and our sleep. <laughs> oh, Stacey, you're too funny. Yeah, but you know what's so funny is too, is I haven't done toning so long. Remember I told you about this, I gained like 40 pounds. Well, I start doing this, like, you know, the toning for you guys and stuff. And I'm like, the next day I'm like, oh, my arm hurts. <laughs> my thigh. My ass. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. I'm like, my poor muscles. They're like, girl, you let us go too long. <laughs> but it's always a good thing. Never get discouraged with the ache, even strong aches. And I'm gonna give you again another little toning tip, like I did the last class, which was a lot of people when they get that much um, lactic acid buildup and they got that much ache in a muscle or it's like, you know, you're trying to move, you're like, oh, I, I can't even like, I feel like a cripple, okay? The thing about it is, is like, when your muscles and things are, are have that lactic buildup in it and it becomes that contracted, that tight, we usually think like, oh, we need to give it some, we give it a break because I'm gonna overwork it and I'll pay for it later. But here's a little tip. Do what irritated it the first time. So if your thighs burn or it's hard to move your lower body from all the squats or the lunges, give yourself some time the very next day to do squats and lunges and I'll tell you why. You, you've contracted it um, more than it was used to, and you've built up all that acid in the, the tissue. The only way to get that out is to do more of the same, and or you have a foam roller, okay? A foam roller will roll it out without doing more exercise, but if you don't do foam rolling or it's, you don't have a foam roller, you have to do the same thing. And it'll just be like anything else when you're just starting an, um, to do a move and the body's not ready for it. It'll, it'll be stiff and it'll ache and it'll hurt. Um, but I guarantee if you are doing the same move, maybe in a more gentler pace. So if we were doing a four pulse, four pulse squat coming up and that's what irritated like your thighs or your calves or whatever, do a smaller, softer four pulse, squeeze it up. And do a good like 20 or 30 minutes of that. You then come out and like stretch it, you know, like do a stretch. I guarantee it'll be gone. It will be gone. Um, but again, like people get scared. They think I'm hurting so badly, I'll make it worse. And you can't. You can do a move so much that your entire body gets um, so inflamed. 